It's almost impossible to talk about the Porsche 918 Spider without comparing and contrasting it with the McLaren P1 and LaFerrari, the trio making up the so-called holy trinity of hypercars. The Porsche is sometimes seen as the most understated of the three, and it is certainly the cheapest, but in many ways it is actually the most impressive. It is the most usable of the hybrid modes, and yet also has the most spine-tingling soundtrack, when it's naturally aspirated 4.6-litre, V8 kicks in. It is also the most conspicuously high-quality product, and although it's the least powerful and heaviest it also has, by some margin, the most torque. In short, we adore the 918 Spider. Porsche is famously conservative, with its performance claims, so when it lists a 0 to 62 miles per hour, time of 2.6 seconds for the 918 Spider, it gives you some idea of just how monstrously quick it is. For comparison, McLaren claims 2.8 seconds for the P1, and Ferrari rather coyly just says under 3.0 seconds for the La Ferrari. The other acceleration times quoted for a 918 are 7.2 seconds to 124 miles per hour, and 19.9 seconds to 186 miles per hour. It will top out at 214 miles per hour, a whisker behind the claims for the McLaren and Ferrari. The reason for the Porsche's sprinting ability is a combination of its traction thanks to four-wheel drive and a monstrous amount of torque. While the McLaren and Ferrari might boast slightly higher power figures, the 918 completely dominates them with its torque. Although the others put out an identical and not inconsiderable 664 pounds foot each, the Porsche has a combined output of 944 pounds foot from its electric and petrol motors. Engine and gearbox, the combination of a super-fast changing gearbox and racing esque engine, make the high-tech 918 feel like a proper racing car. The title of this section doesn't really do the 918 Spider justice. Much like in F1, perhaps we should describe its drivetrain as a power unit as it's made up of a 4.6 litre V8 with 599 bhp at 8,700 revolutions per minute and 398 pounds foot at 6,700 revolutions per minute, supplemented by an electric motor after each axle. The internal combustion engine and rear-mounted electric motor drive through a 7-speed dual-clutch PDK transmission with electronically controlled limited slip differential, while the front electric motor is single-speed and decouples at 165 miles per hour. The total combined output is 875 bhp and 944 pounds for the liquid-cooled 6.8 kWh lithium-ion battery sits between the engine and the carbon fiber passenger cell. The 918 Spider can be plugged in, but also charges through regenerative braking, with impressive speed. Its electric range is 18 miles, and it can be driven in e-power mode at, up to 93 miles per hour. The first thing that strikes you with the 918 Spider is the ease of use. There is something rather wonderful about being able to leave early in the morning in the 875 bhp car completely silently. What's more, there is a useful 20 mile range on fully electric compared to just 6 miles in the P1 and nothing in the La Ferrari. But as impressive as the two electric motors, 195 kilowatts on the front axle and another 115 kilowatts on the rear axle, are it is still the internal combustion engine that steals the show. If you've got the roof off, then the first time, the V8 kicks and it scares the life out of you, because the top exit exhausts are not that far behind your head. 
It is, however, an utterly glorious sound to be scared by. Shrill and angry yet piercingly beautiful, it makes the car's list price seem almost reasonable. The 918 is the heaviest of the hypercar trio, but ample traction, and the chassis inherent balance do a good job to hide it. Cars in this league, are hard to describe as bargains, but compared to the P1 and La Ferrari, the 918 offers the most for the money. A wonderful cabin, and removable roof make the 918 both a comfortable, and exciting place to spend time. Remove the roof to really enjoy the V8's mechanical tone. The 918 clearly borrows much of its shape, from the Carrera GT. It's less striking, than its two main rivals, but it's arguably more handsome for it. When EVO tested the 918 Spider back-to-back, -back, with the McLaren P1 in issue 200, we noted that it shared the car as art execution of its predecessor, the Carrera GT. The family ties are clear to see, and it nails a balance between looking clean, and unadorned, and looking exquisite, and expensive. That car was also resplendent in a Martini Racing livery, one of several options available, to 918 buyers to personalize their cars, and a no-cost option on the Visac package. Personal taste will dictate, whether you take the plunge, on the graphics options, the Evo office is split, but they certainly help the car stand out further.